Hey guys, so today I have all of my projects here and I'm going to show you what I have started working on in 2021 and some of 2020 and what I plan to finish in 2022 or by the end of it. So some of these are like my own creations and some of them are ones that I've downloaded. So the first thing that I'm going to uh, hopefully finish before winter happens are these gloves. They are the V-Day gloves and I got this pattern off of Ravelry and I'm making mine in purple. So here I am starting on the very first glove right here. So I haven't gotten very far on this pattern. I just started it the other day and I'm hopeful to have some nice gloves made out of fingering wool yarn. Another thing I started yesterday is this hat and I only have a little bit of it right now. But I'm just making this up. This is just like a, a relaxing project to do. So I'm using these three scrap yarns and hopefully I will have a really nice hat to wear. I love making hats and my daughter and my son keep stealing them. So that's another thing that I'm working on. All right, so let's see what else we have. So way back, I made this pattern called Happy Mitts. Here's what it looks like. This is the color work chart for the mitts. This is my own pattern. And I made it to cheer myself up because I'd had a few miscarriages. This was before I had my son Ruben. He's six now. And I had a few more miscarriages after I had Becky. And so now I'm making myself another pair. And the pattern isn't that great. Honestly, it was some, one of the first, in the first few years of pattern making for me. So I'm not entirely pleased with it, but it's been nice. I think if I just updated it and added a little bit more color work here into the flower so it wasn't so busy, it would be okay. But it says happy on it, and I've got one glove done except for the thumb. And I have another one started right here. Oops. So here's that. And I really hope to finish that. Can you hear my kids screaming? They're getting very dirty in the sandbox. Another thing I've started doing this year is using Beauty by Earth. And they sent me this facial serum to try. So it's an anti-aging an anti -aging facial serum. And I have found it's really great for moisturizing during the winter. I get really dry skin in the winter. I don't know if that's where I live. I'm in Virginia or because I'm always cold and I'm wearing sweaters and everything or other reasons, my skin, my genetics, but I really like it. And it says to apply it to where you get fine lines and wrinkles, but since I'm almost 35, I'm just putting it all over here. I've been putting it here and here and all here and under here and sometimes even here. And I love it. It has a cool little roller on it so you don't have to like put it on your hand or anything you just like roll it on your skin I feel like it wastes so much less product that way because for most moisturizers I put the oil on my skin and then rub it here and then it's all over my hands and stuff so I really like that let's see this goes in here I keep all of my patterns and projects in these bags. This one came with a pair of Tom's shoes that I wore in college, like almost 20 years ago. Well, I think it was like 15 years ago, but still, let's put this over here. So this is another bot pattern that I bought off of Ravelry, and I didn't print off the whole pattern. Let me see if I can show you guys. A picture so this is the juniper crop it's a sweater and I have some cotton wool left over that I bought and this is how much I have I had the first row of the top of the sweater <laughs> so I think it's gonna turn out really cute and I can't wait to make that I'm hoping to complete the sweater by next year to wear it next fall because honestly it'll probably take a month or two and I'm not sure if I'll wear it when it gets really cold or not. I love sweaters. I wear one every day. I'm still working on this. I started this over a year ago. 
This is a shawl. It's just in green and it's very repetitive. It is the Campside by Alicia Plummer. So it looks like that. And I got this one off of Ravelry as well. And I kind of, I go through stages where I'll love it and I'll knit a whole bunch of rows at once because you can kind of memorize it, but it also is a little bit hard so it keeps your attention well. But you also can't memorize it. Like, it's not just something you can just do while you're talking or sitting in a group or having kids interrupt you and want you to read books to them. So it's not one that I've worked on all that much because it does get repetitive. This is another hat that I want to make just like that first one, like this one, but it's going to be out of greens. So I have some scrap green yarn in here to make another hat and that's what bag that one goes in. All right. This is the yarn for those gloves. The other two colors that I'm going to be putting in those gloves that I showed you first. And let's see what's in the last bag. I know what this one is. Okay, so a long time ago, this was many, many years ago. I'm talking, my son was around one, so like five years ago. And I may have started on this before he was born. I can't remember, I'll have to go back and look. But this is a fox scarf. So here's the head of the fox that I made and I've got it on these, on scrap yarn here. And then I knit a cable and it wraps around and then it has a little tail. So I wanna finish this because it's been sitting in my to knit pile for a really long time. So, hmm. that's everything that I would like to knit this fall and going through next year, except for I also wanna add a pair of socks. I do toe up socks. So I'd like to make a pair of socks. I don't know. So what are you guys knitting? Or if you do a different type of art, what projects are you planning for next year? I am really excited about cozy fall knitting before our fireplace. I'll see you guys later. Bye.